become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to talk about the possible link between Dianabol and a 36 eggs a day diet. And before starting to talk about this, I just want to say that this is my own take after having done some of my own uh, research on this topic. And before we actually even go into the link, uh, we actually need to look at the history of Dianabol and its initial uses after it appeared in 1955 and how this possibly sparked the great Vince Gironda to come up with the 36 eggs a day diet. Um, I find this topic of Vince's diets fascinating because so many of his ideas considered outrageous at the time and even nowadays are being proved and some of course disproved scientifically um, today. And of course today his legacy still lives on and his thoughts and principles in dieting and bodybuilding uh, still stir up many emotions and provoke hot conversation. And it's something that I will be focusing a bit more on in upcoming videos. In order to show you how, at least how I think, Vince Gironda made the link between Dianabol and the thir thir um, 36 eggs a day diet, or the three dozen eggs a day diet, we need to look at the historical treatment of burn patient victims, which is really gonna be central to the topic of today. Now, a lot of people understand that Dianabol is a performance enhancing drug and that it was discovered in the mid 50s by Dr. Ziegler. And after he, um, he uh, gave it to the York team to try through Bob Hoffman, um, it spread like wildfire. All athletes were using it to enhance their performance. But a lot of people don't know that it initially was very successful at the treatment for um, burn patient victims. Now, why burn patient victims? Well, burn patient victims suffer from muscular atrophy, that is the decrease in muscle tissue, due to the fact that these guys, um, or these people I should say, these victims, after they have severe burns, they um, are limited in their movement. And because they are bedridden, uh, they don't move and therefore their muscles start to um, decrease, they, they atrophy. and. Um, Back in the 60s, uh, Dianabol was actually used to maintain muscular tissue with burn patient victims. It was actually very successful at the time. And um, this is a very important thing to note that Dianabol was used for the treatment of burn patient victims. Now the reasoning behind why Dianabol was so powerful at preventing muscular atrophy in burn patient victims has to do with its ability to maintain a positive nitrogen balance in the human body. And this was found in the early 60s. Um, and this sparked a great new research interest with Dianabol where many different um, studies were made in all kinds of diseases um, and even for elderly patients, for example. Um, so Dianabol initially was seen as a really uh, a real wonder drug um, but later, because patients started dying of liver toxicity, um, it later started being replaced by other drugs. Now, if we look at alternative methods for treating burn patient victims, especially for preventing muscular atrophy, um, in the mid 70s, the 35 eggs a day diet was um, starting to be recommended. Here is a, a journal uh, article from the British Journal of Plastic Surgery from 1975 the original 35 eggs per day um, study for the treatment of severe burns. And if you read the first paragraph, it actually states that for the last uh, two decades, so we're talking all the way from the um, mid 50s, this diet was actually being used for the treatment of severe burns. And um, that's pretty um, incredible when you, when you look at the history now of the 36 eggs a day diet. This is actually where it started. Um, the link started. So you have now Dianabol being used for treating burn patient victims, but there is an alternative method and that is the 36 eggs a day diet for burn patient victims for the prevention of muscular atrophy. Now similarly for um, the egg diet, um, the 36 eggs a day diet, it was actually shown that um, this particular diet kept a positive nitrogen balance. You can actually read that in the, um, the second paragraph here in the discussion um, that the egg regime provides most of the protein requirements 
um, that's providing a total of 210 grams a day, which is very important for burn patient victims, that is to maintain a positive nitrogen balance. And the actual original diet wasn't the one that was necessarily recommended by Vince Deronda, where you actually take the shake, uh, the hormone precursor shake, which I've detailed in a previous video, three times a day. It's interesting to see that the egg diet, diet back then uh, was given mainly as um, as a cooked version. So we've got 25 eggs were given, and now I'm reading the first paragraph, 25 eggs a day were given uh, during the day in a variety of forms. The most popular ways were fried or raw in soups. Not, it wouldn't be raw, it would be probably cooked in soup or, or, um, or uh, even in wine because wine contains alcohol. Uh, or omelettes and egg enriched ice cream. So it was actually given as, as food. And only at night was it given raw, mixed with milk and sugar, and fed through a nasogastric tube. So um, it's very interesting to see even how the egg diet was um, was promoted in hospitals for um, burn patient victims. Now Vince Gironda was a very well learned person, I would say a very brilliant self-taught person with a real brilliant mind. And I'm sure that he must have made the associations back in the 50s and 60s um, when the three dozen eggs a day diet was already being used for burn patient victims um, with the study then showing that um, it caused a positive nitrogen balance and prevented muscular atrophy well of course um, uh, he must have had this aha moment aha it must be equivalent to um, a mild cycle of dianabol hence the 36 eggs a day diet was born all of course he did was add an extra egg to the 35 egg a day diet as used for burn patient victims and um, he basically tailored it to uh, bodybuilding. Now this video has mainly been my own take on how Vince Gironda possibly linked the 36 eggs a day diet to the effects of Dianabol. It's my own take. Um, I've done my own research and I've come up with this, this own conclusion. Uh, whether it's true or not, we'll never really know. Vince, of course, is, is past, long past, and he never actually stated in any of his books how he made that connection and his claim that the 36 eggs a day diet was as effective, uh, effective as a mild cycle of um, the animal. We'll never really know. But this is, again, my own take as to the possible link between Dianabol, the effects of Dianabol and 36 eggs a day diet. Um, of course, the 36 eggs a day diet is still very controversial. Um, some people believing it, some people don't. Um, some people have tried it. There's a lot of anecdotal evidence stating that it does work and a lot of anecdotal evidence stating that it doesn't. So like anything, of course, like many of Vince's um, claims, um, some people, for some people it works, for some people it doesn't. Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Leave me your comments and again, thank you for watching. Um, if you wish to support my work, um, you can donate via PayPal or become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm. Or you can also visit my shop uh, www.goldenerabookworm.com where you'll find courses and books from the bronze, silver and golden era of bodybuilding. That's it for me. This is the golden era bookworm. Bye for now. Visit www.goldenerabookworm.com for courses and books from the bronze, silver and golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, I just want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker, volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that today there's still on equipment like, uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day and again, highly recommend this book.